be this ha guys please what is happening to our Yebuka? what is happening to Yebuka this season like i really don't get like this reunion has been something else from is it from allowing them talk over each other endlessly to the extent that they even talk over himself sometimes and also allowing them ask um, each other questions why he is seated there looking like something i don't know and also not doing follow-up questions to this one i don't like it not doing follow-up questions where necessary for instance this dubai gist among others like guys like even remain small make housemates take work for him and like the way it was looking at some point it makes me they take may they take work from his hand or more waiting they play like am i the only one that has noticed this it's just how many days three days and we don't see this kind of plenty things like this ah oh girl. but then Sha, is it that Ebuka doesn't even have the strength for this particular set see that like does not really really feel them like that maybe because of the complaint of being boring you guys were saying they're boring they're boring now thinking about it safe he didn't even really bond with any one of them outside the house like that like he didn't even attend their birthday parties and other parties or like um the previous set nobody like nobody way you know attend their party especially lockdown people there was nobody there he didn't attend their birthday party like those ones really really enjoyed him very well but this particular shine i don't even i don't think he not even one I don't think he attended one. I don't think he attended except for maybe uh, White Money's. Um, what was that event White Money was doing then? I've forgotten. Well, Sha, this might be the reason Sha isn't really feeling them. Let's just do our work to fulfill our righteousness kind of situation, is what I'm seeing in this reunion. Well, it is well, Sha. And Omo Boma, hey, Boma, apologize. Hey, hey, hey. Wow, but truly, is this really, really melted my heart? Huh? No wonder they were all cool um, in this video. Remember this video leaked sometime last week, and people were like, "Eh, so this junior is scripted." Blah, blah, blah. No wonder they were um, all cool here. Something tells me that they've even probably addressed um, this particular situation between themselves um, outside the house before the reunion started. They just had to do this for reunion sake, making it public that they've said to do. Well, I love this so, so much. Peace at last. Way to go. And oh my goodness, God. Pere? That was so mean. Jesus Christ, that was so mean. Um, uh, my people know this, Jerry. Let me quickly run us through the event and showcase of the day uh, of the day three. Sorry, of the day three of the Shine Your Eye reunion and also add some of my own Ajasa. Okay, so let's start so after showing the clips it started with nini and Irene arguing about how nini did stand up for her and shut down the conversation of when perry was calling her all those nasty names and words um Irene stated again how nini just walked away and never shut down the conversation and then they started the back and forth back and forth rants and all of that from nowhere angel just mentioned maria's name again <laughs> <laughs> like, like she still went ahead to say Maria was flirting with Emmanuel. Hell, God, this matter again. How oh, they still managed to drag Emmanuel into this matter? Like I don't even understand. Every now and then, but you were flirting with Emmanuel. But you were flirting. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my, I don't tire on Emmanuel's behalf. What a distinguished guest he is on the show. Very distinguished guest. <laughs> he managed this, he managed that. Like for someone that was literally called furniture throughout the show. Oh, girls. Someone said, furniture, fall out now everywhere you did. Problem child. <laughs> I'm gonna be smarting. Anyway, that matter was cleared with a clip and where Perry was trying to convince Emmanuel to accept his feelings for a man, for Maria. Saying this guy has feelings for Maria, not the girl as well. Emmanuel cleared that and that. Eat. Do you like Maria? <laughs> I don't know if uh, you know. Do you like her? <laughs> As a friend, I trust her not. I feel Maria likes this guy. Moving on now, that is how Angel Cook mask scattered everywhere, guys. When she added, you didn't think of that. When she added, you didn't think of that one when you were effing. I can use the F word. So like, let's call it that. A married man. Ha, ah, Jesus Christ. Hey! <laughs> well, I was actually expecting 
any one of them to use that I knew they were going to use that to come at at Maria where well, as we were digesting that's how Maria added her own too she said you kissed everything in the house you did a lot of things in Dubai thing in the house eh, eh, eh. did I hear Dubai all oh, more waiting apple for Dubai how we could get food just like this by God how and it's the fact that Angel didn't even really argue about the Dubai um, statement she didn't really say anything all she said was she be people already know who she is blah 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 wow wow really angel but um, i trust maria she for open mouth say everything like everywhere for scattered this night jesus well she later did yes she later did watch out for my next, next video guys guys now thinking about it gosh now here i miss katrina Sha, the boss lady herself like literally everyone misses katrina at this point just for them full ground right there at the reunion like right there almost table for those scatter finish with no particles left <laughs> we for just the year i saw you angel i saw you tiptoeing outside the hotel with them hey lord honestly guys <laughs> and on and on honestly guys she can never keep to herself it's not katrina i know her by jeva but Oh gosh, and yes, I have some fresh details of what happened in Dubai. Please, please watch out for the next video. Omo, you don't want to miss this one. You don't want to miss it. Eh? <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Um, and it's kind of beginning to look like Angel is kind of maybe playing the victim card. I might be wrong, but it's looking as if she's kind of uh, playing the victim card right now. In fact, not only me, so many other people are seeing this from... People are like, I've never seen a babe that loves to be um, a victim so bad, but she's doing villain work behind the scenes. Mm. Well, it's all good. Time we tell, let's keep watching the show. Moving on, so Ebuka asks Aaron what really happened uh, between them. He said he's really interested. Um, after uh, Aaron finished addressing the question, Angel asked Nene. Besides, it was just so necessary for him to ask that question because they were already acting well contrary what contrary to what we saw um them do in the house so it was so necessary for um Ibuka to ask that question it was not Aaron that brought it up contrary to what Nini said no it wasn't Aaron that brought that this particular discussion up uh, of what happened it was Ibuka that brought it up so a lot of things from she came out of the house and she wasn't getting the same vibe and so everyone saying Nini came out of the house she met her and she was not getting the same vibe from how it was in the house to Nini spending four days before talking to her and peace that she literally forgot she had uh, friends such as peace and Ari from the house after she got evicted then to Nini also saying that she invited Ari over for an event which she attended but still they didn't address their issue now this was the one that has scattered everywhere guys when Nini said she um she was sad she was angry at um Irene for commenting on cross post so she said this was one that really really got her angry so little digging by people here and there it was discovered that Irene left a post on cross's page the day the boots are the fallout you guys remember that um toilet saga now that cross and nini had it was even shown during the highlight so nini said that actually got to her made her angry so Irene said no she wasn't the one um handling a page that in fact anyone could log in into her page plus we were at that time sharing love and light to everyone and all the housemates so it wasn't a big deal for them but Nini insisted and kept emphasizing that no that it was wrong for them to do that even if she wasn't the one handling her page don't her people know um she people know she's a person why leave such comments like they kept ranting she kept ranting and blaming her and guys when i saw the comment they said comment i was surprised because i was like like seriously like are you seriously kidding me right now guys this is the comment on the screen not like they abused her or did anything ah almost as one billion ha so it's giddy gone guys guys don't lie nini really surprised me tonight to me i feel she was so condescending so condescending towards Ari, and i don't think she really 
um, rate her that much. I was irritated at some point, guys, with her attitude tonight. I won't lie to you. And funny enough, lots of people also said saying, like, she don't chop drag <laughs> left, right, center, even from non baby Niger fans. I just saw clips and all that. So, you guys mean Nini stopped talking to Aaron because she commented across. She didn't even abuse her. Hey. Like, is she saying that Aaron should join her to more cross? More, especially with the challenge. Like, are you for real now? Or more? Ha. That's the case. Me, I'm different. I'll tell her face to face. Okay, it's me that left the comments. What are you going to do? I don't support such. Ah. Now, wow. I just feel she doesn't rate Aaron. I, don't, I just feel she doesn't rate her. But then, again, I didn't also see Nini's friendship and Aaron's friendship um, going sour. I didn't see it coming at all. I mean, sharing same bed. Is it, is it how they share same bed? As small as the bed was, sharing duvet too. Almost swallow each other on the bed, doing a proko. Um, Saga also joining them. Like, they even get name. They had a name that Twitter people were calling them that time. Hey, hey, God, I don't forget. Oh, yes, I don't remember. Power Puff Girls. <laughs> I hope I got that right. Well, I hope they said to. But from what I saw tonight, hmm, Omo. I doubt it, Sha, but then we hope for peace. Anyway, Saga said his whole side of the story. Said he was aware of the whole event. Went ahead to say Nini loves Aaron so much. Aaron loves Nini so much that Nini even cried the night she was evicted. That Aaron was evicted. Then he said when they came outside of the house, Nini heard her own stuff from people. Aaron heard her own stuff from people. And they stopped talking after that. Or more, it is well. Moving on. A clip of Boma and Angel's fight was played, that almighty fight. So Boma said Queen asked him what um, he and Angel did in the executive room. So he told Queen that they kissed. Queen now went back to tell Angel. Angel got angry because um, same Boma said they should keep whatever happened a secret. Angel now said um, Boma also told Perry that in fact guys in the house talked about ladies in terrible manner so much. Oh, yes, I agree with that. I so, so much agree with that 100%. Guys were something else in the house. She's right. Then Boma now said that he shall got angry um, because Angel called him kiss and tell, which Tega also attested to and also for using the F word continuously on him. So he said fight busted as a result of that. Anyway, Boma apologized. And that was how the fire was quenched. So they ended with up next the Boma and Queen Wahala. Oh God, this is another big one. Boma called Queen Loka. <laughs> well, we we'll wait for tomorrow, guys. Make sure you thought with me in the comment section. The next video we give you say bye.